वेलकम बैक आई होप यू आर एंजॉइंग द सीरीज एंड इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी टुगेदर बिल्ड द नैव कॉम्पोनेंट एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू बिल्ड एंड स्टाइल आर लैंडिंग पेज विच इज द लैंडिंग सेक्शन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड कूल सो नाउ एज ऑलवेज वी आर गोइंग टू बिल्ड अनदर कॉम्पोनेंट फॉर आर लैंडिंग पेज विच I am going to call as landing itself. You can, of course, call it whatever you want. Landing, and then let me create a new file for landing page, and I'm going to name it as landing itself. And it's going to be a functional component. Everything else apart from the app component in this project is going to be a functional component. And in the last video, just like the previous project, I am going to convert this. into a functional component as well so don't worry i am going to teach you the basics of react hooks as well and this is just the start and slowly we are going to transition from class based components to functional components using hooks so let me import my react here and let me create a simple functional component and name it as landing and then again uh, for now let's just name it a uh, let's have a simple div which is going to be our landing container and we forgot one thing we forgot to add a styling sheet here as well so this i'm going in the landing.css and let's import the landing.css from here landing.css that's super cool and now again so again this is going to have something very similar if we go here this is going to have a landing left and a landing right very very similar to our concept that we used in the navigation bar but there's just one different that difference that once we uh, we have to make it responsive so once we uh, reduce the size of the screen as you can see this text becomes center aligned so it was left aligned here but as soon as we decrease the size of the screen for mobile devices it becomes center aligned to give a better view so that is going to be super exciting i'm going to also tell you some things about media queries and all so yes first of all let's design our page again another simple class uh, i'm going to call it as landing left and then uh, it can have a h1 which can be can you type dot 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 it gives a very cool behavior and i'm going to name it as landing header so let's see if it works let's import the land landing page in our app component and as you can see it automatically imported landing page from landing.jsx in case it didn't not for you you can manually import it as well so as yes, now it's showing can you type so let's do one thing let's have the elements in place before we go to the stylings in here we used to have a sort of typewriting effect so this typewriting effect we are not going to create from scratch i am going to tell you how to reuse the components and how to reuse the npm libraries to improve your coding time to actually reduce your coding time so that you can reuse the components which have already been made by others so yes but for now let's just keep it as h1 which we are going to replace later on for now an h1 would be correct typewriter container i am going to name this Div as type writer container, and then let's have three H ones here. For example, fast and H one correct, and another H one as let's say quick. That seems good. Can you type fast, correct, and quick? And then finally, we also have we should also have a landing right, just like landing left, where we are going to place our image. and that image we already downloaded in the second video of this project which which i called flash.png so yes very simple let's have an image with src equal to firstly we need to import it as well here so i'm going to import it very quickly as import flash from dot slash dot dot slash dot dot slash assets slash flash.png as simple as that 
I am going to have it as this and alt can be let's say hero and that's it and let's give it a class name as well of flash image so this seems actually good enough although the stylings are not yet in place so let's very quickly do the styling so i hope you are already starting to understand how frequently i used the flexbox for my styling so flexbox is super cool because we don't have to import those heavy css libraries and flame frameworks just for grids and just for styling and just for positioning so that's why i prefer using the flexbox so yes i'm going to give it a minimum height of 90 view uh, view height so view height is actually a viewport so as you can see in display flex it automatically becomes row aligned because it is in a row the flex direction automatically is row so yes it's um, almost as we wanted and the minimum height we have given it to be as 90 view height and let's have a justify content as space between exactly same as the thing that we did in our nav bar so although this is very small so you might not be able to see the space between let's increase it a little bit and now you will be able to see the space between this will be left aligned and this will be right aligned awesome and a few more things align items center so align since the direction is row align items will align it vertically so now it will be at vertical center as you can see the magic awesome and let's give it a color as again some light color how about not the same as the previous one because i want it to be a little bit different than the logo so yes that should be good enough and some padding as well top and bottom zero left and right 32 pixels so that it's not sticking at the right and left corners super cool and then i'm going to give it a font family of again bangers which we imported in the first video and then margin as zero and then very quickly just one last thing inside our container that once it starts going outside our screen we need to move it below so we need to wrap it it's called flex wrap and i am going to set it as wrap so now it's going to move below this is super super awesome now just some stylings left so firstly let's uh, style as the landing left we don't need to put any explicit stylings here i think let's start from landing header then font size again i'm going to give it a bigger font size so that it's explicitly very visible 92 pixels should be good enough yes and letter spacing it's the letter seems to be quite sticking into each other so let's give it a proper letter spacing of let's say four pixels and now it seems pretty pretty cool now awesome and a margin of of course zero pixel we don't need any big big margins from the top and then inside our typewriter container let's copy and paste the class name because it's too long to type and then i'm going to give it a font size of 64 pixel we need to make it big but not as big as can you type and then the letter spacing of course four pixel because the bangers font is quite sticking into each other this looks quite awesome uh, don't worry about the bigger font that you are seeing in here we of course we are going to replace it with the typewriter effect so it's not going to make a very big difference or if you want to reduce it let's make it as p instead of h1 and that's going to do the thing for now but anyways as i told you it's going to be completely replaced by our typewriter component so yes this does the thing and then let's reduce the size of our hero image which is flash image to be let's say width to be around 40 view width that seems quite good enough or if it looks very very small we will change it later on it's not that small but yeah we will have a look at it later on so yeah for now it seems pretty good enough for the now for the as i told you in the beginning for the mobile devices we need to make it center aligned so now we are going to use some media queries so here it looks pretty cool it looks fine enough but for the mobile devices let's use our media query which we use like this media and max 
width I am going to take the max width of 800 pixels so for the devices which have width lesser than 800 pixels I am going to make this landing container with the flex direction of column instead of row and then I am going to align items as center so as you might have guessed now since our column direction is column so align item basically works on the cross axis cross axis is if you are going through row your cross axis is vertical if you are going through column your cross axis is horizontal so it will horizontally center the components i did not save it let's save it yes so it become in the center awesome so and let's do one more thing let's increase the size of our flash image to be width equal to 80 view width so that it looks quite good now and just one last thing in the landing header let's text align as center and let's give a little bit of uh, how about the margin top because in when our screen was bigger we did not need any margin top because it was already center aligned in vertical but now since it's column so it's not actually center aligned so let's do it as 32 pixels as top margin and text align as center and let's also text align the typewriter container as center so that's pretty much it for this video we built the navigation bar and the landing page and in the next video very quickly let's import the typewriter effect and one more cool animation as you can see if i make it bigger and if i reload the page it's going to come from slide side it's going to slide in from side so we are going to add both of those animations in the next video see you in the next video very quickly bye bye